everyone only cares about young people nowadays, young people with Instagrams. As long as you don't have Instagram, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, literally like one day. Oh no. Wait, what's that? Like, yes, we were only there for a day. Or maybe two days. Yeah. So I was so jet lagged the entire time as well. So I went to I went to Toronto and then came back again and so I was I didn't even know where I was to be honest. <laughs> oh god. So it was fun. Hmm. So I watched this movie and I'm like, this is so intense to watch and I can't even imagine what it's like to be playing this part. Could you relate in any way to this kind of like isolation that these guys must feel? Can is that something that you have ever experienced yourself? Um yeah, and I've kind of, I've learned how to deal with isolation pretty well over the years, and so it's kind of, but I remember when I was younger, that kind of frustration of feeling trapped, and there's a, there's a scene when I'm kind of uh, doing jobs around the island, and I just looked up, and Willem's standing at the, on the uh, viewing deck of the lighthouse, and I just suddenly got the feeling when it's like there's nowhere to hide on this island, and you, if you just have someone who's constantly looking at you, I mean, literally, I would have gone absolutely insane. I mean, because there's, and you, I really, really viscerally felt it for a second, and you're just like, I mean, there's nowhere apart from his, his, his the little shed which he <laughs> hangs out in. But if you're just constantly having to force into interaction with somebody who you don't like, it's awful. But can you relate to that as an actor sometimes too? Yeah, when I was younger, and I just kind of, I feel like, I don't know what's happened recently though. I, I just, I, I, I can just let everything just slide <laughs> off me now. But when I was younger, I just kind of, when people used to wait outside your house and stuff and you'd feel trapped inside your house, like, it would drive you really, really, really crazy. But what I can relate to a lot in this is someone, he, like my character just wants to know what's in the secret room. And if, that that drives me so nuts. If someone says I can't, if someone is, tells me I can't go in somewhere, or says they can't tell me something, I will lose my mind until I find out what it is. And it's like, I mean, everyone just winds me up all the time, going, like, "Oh, I can't say, I can't say." And I'm literally, I'll sit there, I will, I cannot let it go. And uh, that's kind of where a lot of um, my character's uh, frustration and madness comes from. And that happens a lot to you too because you can't talk about a lot of things. Like mm. your new big project, you, I'm sure you can't really talk about. I know. <laughs> I've never asked you <laughs> about anything. <laughs> I can't talk about the stuff I, that people want me to talk about. And when I try and talk about the lighthouse, and none of my answers make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> but can you talk about how you have to prepare for that physically because you probably have to work out a lot? Mm. Um, yeah, and it kind of. I'm glad. I used to hate working out, and like there's something. It's weird. In my 30s, I really like it now. I find it very meditative. Um, it's weird. When you feel like someone's not forcing it on you and you're doing it for yourself, it's a very, very, it's a very different uh, experience. But I, I sort of love working out now. So I'm kind of, I'm weirdly looking forward to it. Really? Yeah. And the dieting. The dieting too. Because literally, I, I definitely, I'm an extremist. And so I'll just, I've, I'll eat nothing but pizzas for months. I mean, so by the time I have to diet, my body's like, oh, thank God, but please, just only, only healthy stuff from now on. So now you're just gonna eat a lot of pizza before that. Oh yeah, I've been doing it for months. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, I've been bulking. <laughs> so how are you preparing for that? Because, I mean, you were at such a big star, you are still a big star, but people were, like, the fans were a little crazy. And are they, they're gonna be like that again now in this, the big movie is coming out. Are you prepared for it now? I mean, I think it's always different. I mean, I think with Twilight, it was sort of, it was literally from one month, there's nothing. I mean, the next month, it's like fully massive. And uh, and I think that was a sort of, it's a sort of strange learning curve. Um, but then it, everything comes in like ebbs and flows. And also, like I think when you're older, like people, people just... This is a. This is, it, it, everyone only cares about young people nowadays. Young people with Instagrams. As long as you don't have Instagram, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're still young, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks a lot.